the meeting point between arts and medicine with an exhibition. Then we enjoy some good tunes and performance by students of the Creative Arts Department in the University of Lagos. We have an interesting lineup on the show, I tell you. A warm welcome. I'm Melinda Kiwami. I'll be giving you the details in a moment. Stay with us. Stories can break the dignity of a people, but stories can also repair that broken dignity. All you need is passion for your work and an overwhelming desire to tell a story. An exhibition of drawings, paintings, photography and installation is what's being displayed at an unusual venue in Lagos as art heals hearts through uplifting spirits too. The works of art displayed here are not done by professional artists, but by patients and caregivers at the Sickle Cell Center in Lagos. It's an art and medicine project, the second in the series called Uplighting Spirits. The idea is to see how we can use art to transform the healthcare experience because you realize that when people are in the hospital, you know, they have different negative feelings. So through art, we are, going to, we are able to use art to change that narrative, to use art to uplift their spirit, you know, changing their perception of pain and um, turning their pain to something very positive. So we engage them in drawing, in paintings, in mixed media and installation works. And through that process, some of them were, you know, were relaxed, you know, they were happy, they were uplifted, they were encouraged in a way. So the idea is to use art to change the negative perception in the hospital and create a positive vibes. Naturally, art is therapeutic. And so with that therapeutic element and situation, uh, definitely is a good instrument in medicine, you know, in the medical area, you know, particularly for people who have Down syndrome, uh, people who have psychiatric situation, uh, people who have depressed situation and all that. So these areas, the medical practitioners will actually recommend that you need to uh, have a close contact or close uh, uh, area uh, in the arts. The colors in the hall don't just light up the wall, but the hearts who work together under professional guidance to produce over 600 paintings and installations. There's empirical evidence that patients on admission, when they're involved in art, it shortens their, the duration of stay in hospital, hospital stay. And if you look at that in terms of money, it costs you less if you stay less time in hospital. So the, the advantages are just myriad, I can't really count them. So we're beginning to introduce them to our medical students now, to begin to see uh, medicine and um, art as part of medicine. I want people, I want everyone, not just patients, not just um, caregivers, even um, patients, loved ones, to connect with the emotional side of their loved ones, to make sure to enable them to see that they could do so much with art. This initiative seeks to show the healing nature of the arts, something that's popular in other climes, but gradually making its way to Nigeria. There is a healing power through art. The patients are able to express their creativity. They're able to release stress that they're undergoing and focus on something beautiful versus the challenges of the health, uh, the, the health issue that they're going through. Although they are testing the waters, some success stories have been recorded and the impact on both sides of the divide is incredible. Art in medicine is just an approach. It's like a synergy between the arts and medicine. So we use music, we use colors, 
We use words, words, imagery, like poetry, like poems, so we are able to interact with the patient because actually there's a bit of creativity in every one of us. So we just tap into this inner you know, part of us and then we are able to help achieve more outcomes. So it's interesting both for the patient, both for the um, caregivers, like you have a family member at the hospital and you discover that you know, even your countenance, because you're like, the walls are all white, you don't know what to think. So you are even portraying a negative image to the person that's lying on the bed. But when there's art all around, you discover that you, you, you can smile more easily and you are portraying more hope to the person that is sick. All of these artworks you see here were, were produced here in our center. Like, our center was like a studio. So every so often I'd come down and join them and um, participate, join the children doing the art, join in doing paintings and all that. And once I finish, it's very exciting, it's a new thing, it takes me, it makes me feel so much um, like renewed. So when I go back to my work, I'm more productive. And the same thing applies to all, all other healthcare workers. So not, they don't feel overstretched, they don't feel overworked, and they give their best. Then talk, come to the patients themselves. When they participate, Either the participants just seeing it, participate in the actual artwork. This is visual arts, but there are other kinds of art. That particular the children, you see that sometimes children don't have the words to express what they have in their minds, what's going on with them. But they can put it down for you on canvas in art. So here we are able to find our genetic counselors, our counselors who talk to patients with sickle cell, children with sickle cell. They're able to look at their work of art and determine what problems that child is facing. This is an amazing exhibition. It is such a wonderful one, giving people who are living with health challenges the opportunity of creating art. And looking through this collection, you find that there are a lot of bright colors here. Um, what the artist has done basically here, or the coordinator of this project has done, is to bring people living with difficulties, living with health challenges together to paint, to create one form of art or the other. And this kind of community engagement is one very interesting aspect of what arts, the use that art can be put to in society. And these works that have helped the artist or helped the, um, the patients in various uh, hospitals have a new lease of life. Uh, it has taken away anxiety and the stress of living with pain. While the colors beautify the hospital, the topic explored on the canvas reveals what's going on in the minds of those who created them. Art has given them the freedom to talk about happy topics, an irony considering what's staring them in the face. We're moving away from the usual, the way we normally see hospitals and clinics, as very sterile, white clinical spaces, to what you might think you might see in a hotel, what you might see in the hospitality industry. So we're looking more at colors, places that are that are appealing for you know that that's the way we are moving. It, it's not it hasn't so much caught on here in Nigeria. And we're like the first people to start, and others will follow because I know it's already happening in other parts of the Western world. You go to many hospitals, say in the United States, many of them are no longer like they used to be in all clinical. And you also see it in, in the dressing of um, the healthcare givers. Gone are days when the war, the nurses we see them in starched white uniforms. So now they wear more colorful outfits. So when children see them, they don't, they're not so you know, frightened. Or, you know, that, that fear of the doctor, fear of the nurse, is, is kind of um, mollified when they're in colors. And also that question of seeing them in a the space. The Art Immersing Project has been able to create positive values and build a relationship between patient and the family members, between patient, the caregivers, between patient, even and the doctor. So the idea of Art Immersing is using art to build a relationship between patients and the caregivers and people around them. Art is um, very therapeutic in nature, not just to, the, to those who are in need of uh, medical help, but also to those who are just normal, healthy people. Because everybody has a, a thing or so to soothe their heart. And art is one of the tools that you can use to help in the emotional 
balance of uh, people. So medicine and art is very much related and uh, should be encouraged. The Arts and Medicine Project, a baby of Tender Arts Nigeria, is birthed to inspire healing and give joy and gladness to patients in different hospitals.